You did mention ejection fraction, and that's one of the terms that people who are seeing heart failure specialists and cardiologists hear a lot. And I would like you to explain a little bit what an ejection fraction is and what's a normal ejection fraction. And if you can tell us the difference between the different types of heart failure, we hear the term systolic and diastolic heart failures. So building up on that, if you can tell us why they are different and how they are different. I think this is one of the most important question of this talk because ejection fraction number is brought up to patients a lot. And when patients come in, I ask them, so what was your ejection fraction? And they either know or nobody's told them what it is. So imagine the heart having two pumps, a right and a left. There's the lungs are sitting in between these two pumps. So the right pump is pulling blood from the body, all this dirty blood, I call it like high carbon dioxide, low oxygen, dark purple blood that goes, pulls from the right side. And then this right side pumps this into the lungs. The lungs do the cleaning or washing. It's like a washing machine. They get all that carbon dioxide, all that acid out, and you get the blood filtered, clean, and this oxygen from the atmosphere goes to 21. We're right now breathing 21% oxygen. So mm -hmm. the lungs should be capable to get enough oxygen into your blood from 21% atmospheric air to get that oxygen sat back up to 98 to 100%. So this blood turns ruby red, beautiful, bright ruby red. For those who have seen Kurbani, <laughs> right? If you saw that blood spurting out, it was beautiful ruby red blood. And that's really coming from the carotid, directly from the heart, going through the lungs. But for those who haven't, spurting blood that's bright red, it's arterial. Mm -hmm. And that's a quick way of finding trauma patients. If you got oozing blood, that's, or if it's like a spurting bright red. So this is arterial blood. It comes from the lungs into the left upper chamber. The left upper chamber squeezes it through a valve called the mitral valve into the left lower chamber. The left lower chamber opens up and fills with a certain amount. Now, I want everybody to remember that everybody's going to fill up with a different amount. A big, tall linebacker might fill up with 200 cc's. A small, mm -hmm. petite lady might fill up with 24 cc's. It doesn't matter. That is normal for them, but we have understood by studying hundreds and thousands of patients over time that the pump on the left side should be able to squeeze at least 50% of whatever they have in them. So if it's 200 in that big linebacker, it should squeeze 100 with the next squeeze to a different valve to body for consumption.